and welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us tomorrow. With me is Anna Menon, Director of UK in Changing Europe. That's welcome to you. And the Economic Advisor at Arbuthnot Not Banking with me, Jet Heavy Liverpool. And uh, many of tomorrow's front pages are already in, so let's bring you right up to date. The Metro goes with a festive feel, saying it's time for voters to look to the future as the voting has just begun. The Guardian says Jeremy Corbyn has urged voters to send a shock to the establishment. The paper says his words came at the end of a bruising campaign. The Telegraph lead is in the same vein, suggesting that a new poll for the paper has the Tory lead at five points. They say a hung parliament is now plausible. The Yorkshire Post leads with its campaign urgently calling for electoral reform. They say that the election has been full of misinformation. The Daily Mail urges its leaders to go to the polls and vote for Boris Johnson. The Mirror gives a number of reasons to vote for Jeremy Corbyn. The Sun says Britain has a clear choice between Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn. And last but not least, uh, the Express calls its readers to back Boris Johnson. So, uh, only one Tory in town, isn't there? No surprise, since uh, the polls open in just a few hours' time. Um, and, and let's start with the Metro. So here it is, Merry uh, Christmas, or as Ruth did say earlier, Merry Christmas, perhaps that should be. Um, I, what I thought was interesting in this piece um, was the fact that they say this is the most important election in a generation. Do you agree with that assessment? Yes, I do, and for two reasons, I think. Firstly, because Brexit is important and this election will be turning the face of Brexit. Secondly, because the gulf between the two major parties in terms of ideology is huge. Both big parties are offering a fundamentally different way of organising the state, the economy, uh, and, and it is, it is you know, back to the ideological struggles of old, if you like. It's a very, very important choice in terms of what our country looks like in five years' time. You're not 